Hello, Business 635 students. This is Professor Hassey. It's Sunday, March 8th, 2020. And for one of the remaining last times, I'm speaking live and in color from Business Finance Central in Claremont, California. <clears throat> this, uh, this video is, to, uh, is an early introduction video to week number 10, our last week of the term. There'll be a couple subsequent videos this week on Wednesday, afternoon and then on Friday to finalize our final preparations to complete our course. But I wanted to introduce this video to you on Sunday as where many of you are still posting your work uh, for um, case number four and working on your electrics case. And I just wanted to go over a few things uh, as we begin our final week of the course. First off, uh, I have uh, posted a um, let me bring it up here. I have posted a final discussion forum uh, for week number 10, and it involves bankruptcy. Uh, this is worth 5% of your grade. Is our, it is our final class participation grade for this online course. And it's asking you to select one of three uh, bankruptcies that occurred as a result of our last recession <clears throat> in 2008. Lehman Brothers, General Motors, and Washington Mutual. And I want you to do an, a quick analysis on those, on whichever one you select, the date of the bankruptcy, the type of bankruptcy filing, Chapter 7 or Chapter 11, a description of the final re result of the bankruptcy final, and in your opinion of the filing and result from the perspective of the shareholder, the creditor, and the customer of the company, was the bankruptcy good or bad for each one of those three uh, uh, three entities of a business. This is due next Sunday night at, on March 15th at midnight. You are also to write a minimum of one page, at least one page on your analysis and post it, and then post a follow-up to another student's posting that had to do with the uh, one of the other two that you did not do uh, bankruptcy filings and comment on that work. So let's say you did a Lehman Brothers, then you would find a student that posted something on General Motors or Washington Mutual and write a brief comment about the, your review of that work. Again, this is our final discussion post. It's, it's part of our last week of our course. So uh, may, any questions on that, you let me know, but uh, you need to do that work uh, over the course of the next week. And finally, the elect electrics case. Do this next week. Uh, have to post by next Sunday, March 15th. If you do post by next Sunday, March 15th, I will have, and your course evaluations are processed and due on March 17th, I will have your grades by midweek of uh, March 17th, 18th. Uh, if you uh, decide to uh, po not post a student evaluation, you'll have to wait for your final course grades as the result of when the registrar posts them usually about 10 to two, 10 days to two weeks after the close of the term. Uh, and I'll talk more about that in subsequent videos uh, this coming week. But our subject today is question number seven of the electrics case. Use the average demand scenario to evaluate the sensitivity of the project's NPV with respect to the to sales price of the electric motor and the cost of the controller. So again, we have done this before in case number three. Here it is right here. When we did a scenario analysis, uh, excuse me, where we did a sensitivity analysis of three different variables. The variables were selling price per unit, variable cost per unit, and the weighted average cost of capital. The sensitivity analysis tells us if we isolate certain variables and have them to deviate by a certain percentage from their original base case, how does that affect the net present value or the risk associated with that change in the variable? So in this case, you are asked to do a sensitivity analysis for selling price of the unit and the cost of the controller. Now, many students in the last uh, week or so have begun to send me their analysis to review. Uh, more specifically, their base case analysis. And once that has been approved and everything is fine, they move on to their scenario and sensitivity analysis. If you have not 
had that reviewed yet and would like it, I urge you to do that in the next few days because the sensitivity analysis is again asking you to take isolate two variables and determine how that change in those percentages, by the way, the percentages are given in your rubric of your electrics case, and isolate those into an analysis of risk. <clears throat> now, most importantly, if you go to your electrics case, it tells you that the selling price is here for the average case, $9,200. There's your sensitivity variable there. Now, for the cost of the controller, you're going to have to isolate the cost of $1,280 for the CTX, the $1,260 for the MT78 by analysis, and include the warranty cost for those two units too. So the cost of the controller is a combination of these two costs in your analysis. So again, I wanted to highlight those and make sure you're aware of, of that sensitivity analysis and make sure you do that accordingly because that's one of the determining factors of uh, my assessment of your performance in this analysis is to isolate any risk associated with these two products. So in conclusion this Sunday, uh, make sure you review case number three and, that, and those solutions if you had some trouble with that in case number three, because that's the template you use for your electrics case in this analysis this week. But today is Sunday, March 8th. Uh, the paper is due in a week. You should pretty well have all your calculations and spreadsheets done. Remember, you are doing a analysis for each engine. That means an average scenario for one engine, an average scenario for another, and then also the scenario analysis for each engine, worst and best, and then the sensitivity anal analysis for each engine. This will go to your conclusion of your case. Um, I will be available all week for questions and review. We have office hours Tuesday, Thursday afternoons, and Thursday evening. You'll get two more videos on Wednesday and Friday. If, if I see the need to highlight any additional information for electrics, I will. As of now, I'm not planning on it. And again, you should start your writing sometime this week to get it all cleaned up and wrapped up for, the, for posting by next Sunday. Remember, you're going to post two files. The first file is a spreadsheet file with all your analysis tabs. The second is your paper file with, in an APA format, answering those questions from the case and coming up with a conclusion on your recommendation for uh, the Electrics in Incorporated case. So that's all we have for this Sunday. This is an introduction. Remember, don't forget, we have a discussion forum post this week. Note, please note that in the Blackboard. Also note to get case number four in this evening. If any of you are having trouble getting it all wrapped up, there are extensions available. But remember, you have two other major pieces of work this week, the electrics and the discussion forum. So have a great week, everybody. I'll see you soon, and uh, we'll talk to you then. Bye-bye now. There I am. See you later.